Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have uh what we got here man we got soldier boy cooking up some ideas man gucci filling the void diddy with the roach motel folks <laughs> folks trying little baby man and 50 unwrapped again thanks for tuning in to celeb sauce hey yo man we appreciate all y'all that came through giving shout outs to my mom dukes that was on yesterday's vid man that joke was crazy man uh yeah she was speaking creole man um you know haitian creole man you see what i'm saying so she was holding it down yeah a lot of y'all like you haitian nah i'm not okay of course I am, man. Now look, check this out, man. Uh, hit that like button if you feel any part of the content, okay? It definitely helps us out, man. It spreads us out to more people. YouTube rubs my back in the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? It makes your boy look good. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? That's if you care. Now, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Some of y'all been unsubscribed. Y'all know what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. Now, why the sun got a... All right, so you know I'm in a hot car, so I'm going to try to make it quick. You see what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, man. Well, I'll give a shout out to that. Yo, look. I need Soldier Boy to post every day. Every day. For the rest of my life. Your boy sent a message, a strong message, to the king of fast food themselves, McDonald's. <laughs> you like McDowell's. But, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. And he simply posted, I got a billion dollar idea at McDonald's. Trust me. You see what I'm saying? How could they resist, man? The man was the first rapper with a smartphone. He made the internet. L look, he, the man should have his own money. McDonald's simply posted back, quote, I'm listening, right? Beautiful stuff. That's all they said. Close quote. quote you can close that quote, right? Beautiful stuff. Look, what you think Soldier got planned, man? The McBooty meat? Superman soldier sandwich? You see what I'm saying? With extra sauce? <laughs> you like, I ain't going nowhere near that extra sauce. <laughs> you and me both. You see what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Gucci Mane put Pooh Shiesty on, right? Not too long ago. But the temptation of the street life was a bit too overwhelming for your boy. And Pooh paid the iron price when feds hit him with those federal charges. And you know when the feds come a-knocking... The bars are a locking. You see what I'm saying? And and with Pooh in the current situ uh, predicament, situation, whatever, Gucci Mane had to secure himself another artist in his place. Namely, Waco rapper Hot Boy West. Hey, yo, take a look. Me and bro caught a charge on the interstate. He took pussy, so I took his pistol case. Booty, bro, goddamn. What you playing? Shit, that knees right quick. I just got done jamming out shit, though. Hey, she down number saying hi down. Yo, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, yo. Hey, it's all right. Hey! Hey, it's all right. I was trapping like a fool. Me and JJ Boo didn't go to school. I was trapping like a bitch. I said a lot of bricks. Yeah. I really don't give a shit about no pussy. Uh, now, I had to look up bro's video, man. You know, just to take a quick look at, like, yo, let me see if this man's got, you know, lyrical prowess in the whole nine yards, man. You see what I'm saying? And this is the video that I bumped into. Take a look real quick. No exaggeration, been a fella since 11. Ain't never fucked with 12 and 13. I was stepping at 14. That's when I seen my mama get addicted. I had hey, yo, post your thoughts on that clip right there in the comments below, man. I'm wondering if your thoughts, if you're thinking... What I'm thinking, man. You see what I'm saying? Here's a crazy thing. And this ain't no shade or nothing like that, man. Yeah, it's getting got kind of hot in the car. I'm about to die of heat exhaustion right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo. You're trying to get a soundproof booth, man. But guess what? We don't got the money for that. Look, check this out, man. And, and, and hence, the cash app. You see what I'm saying? The cash app. Look, look, check this out, man. Uh, when I saw the Hot Boy West video, right? I was like, I feel like... I'm looking at a video like if I took if I took him out and put Pooh Shiesty in the spot, I feel like I would have been watching the same type of I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Just let me know what you think in the comments below. Write down what you think about that hot boy West joint, man. You see what I'm saying? Check this out, man. Diddy, right, has 18 million followers. Just think on that for the next five seconds, man. Diddy has 18 million followers check this video clip out that diddy posted take a look you can do it you can be whoever you want you can be eating mango too with the ocean as your backyard i ain't special i just want it i want it bad you feel me i'm not going to allow myself to not have mango 
I hustle hard, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't never feel no way. No, baby. <laughs> Hey, yo, Diddy has 18 million followers. Now, he added the post, quote, One day when I was growing up, I woke up and there was 15 roaches on my face. Why, why that number in particular? At that moment, I said, hell no. I refuse to live like this. Work hard, believe in your crazy dreams, and never settle. Hashtag love. Close quote. Look, I'm going to try to be good. Anyway, Twitter went ballistic, right? Currency set it off by saying, woke up to 15 roaches in my ashtray. I knew then I had to rise up out of my situation. Now empty them hoes out before they look stupid. We getting money, ninja, right? Close quote. The Kid Miro, you know, from Decent and Miro, man. I love them cats, right? Said, one day I woke up with 15 roaches on my face. I said, I can't live like this. I got up off the floor, took the roaches off my face and put them back in the ashtray so I could smoke them later. Believe in your crazy dreams or whatever. I'm going to eat a mango in the sun. Believe in yourself. Now, O'Shea Jackson Jr. said, 15. First of all, just one roach is enough for me to understand, right? LMAO, but dog, 15. Roaches crawling on your face And you get up in the mirror to count or something You know damn well you feel a, you feel a girl hair on your face You swat that itch to death Right He also added Retweet if you were one of the Retweet if you were one of the roaches On Diddy's face uh, Wait did he say that? I don't know somebody said that Retweet if you were one of the roaches on Diddy's face Look, Cut to images of roaches <laughs> Washing their hands o Okay look I'm wrong for that Look, Salute to Diddy for working hard And believing in his crazy dreams I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess so, right? Now, not only did that Diddy, um, did, not only did that Diddy, uh, let's do a shout out real quick. It's time for the shout outs. Um, yo, shout out to everybody that gave a shout out to my moms that came through on yesterday's vid. Hey, yo, man, I appreciate that, man. Mom dudes had to come through, man. Just give me a little bit of insight on the insanity that was going down in, um, what you gonna call it? Uh, you know, in Haiti. You see what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to those of y'all that come through on the Cash App. Hitting us off, man. R real talk. Philip Trotman ho holding us down. Paris Madison, A, I, I, right? Cousin Marcus, Cash Out. Cash Out. Cash Out, I think, was me. Um, uh, Don't, whatever. Look, check this out, man. Um, Shout out to my boy, uh, I see you, landlord. My man says $600 and $300 is almost $2,000. Yes, it is. To me, it is. Stevie E said, man, that boy celeb too intelligent and well-rounded to not be Haitian. Shout out to moms. Salute to you and the five people that gave a thumbs up on that, man. You see what I'm saying? Jenny Jean, salute to you. She said Haitians for the win. I'm, I'm feeling that, man. Also, um, shout out to, uh, that's all my shout outs I got for today, I guess. So, yeah, that's all my shout outs for today. Um, yo, man, uh, G-Bo, G-Bo, man, I ain't heard from you in a minute, man. You know, I mean, you don't have to comment. But you know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, hopefully everything is going well with you. Now, uh, Diddy, right? We, we ain't done with Diddy, okay? Not only did Diddy, um, you know, have the 15 roaches on his face. I'm like, that ain't the time to start talking about your dream. That's the time to go hit Walmart and get the, the raid. You see what I'm saying? He also had something to say about Shikari Richardson. He said, quote, it's effed up and my heart is broken for Shikari uh, Richardson. Having her lifelong dream stripped away for using illegal substance. I'm tired of white people sitting in a damn room. Oh, my bad. I added the damn. Sitting in a room, making up decisions that affect our hopes and dreams. They'll keep treating our athletes like slaves and entertainment until we shut down on these people. Said from love with love. Right? Close quote. <laughs> now, what he said was heavy stuff. But social media came out for your boy with pitchforks, which is a normal day for Puff. Right? But the question is, did the man double down? Did he? <laughs> of course he did. Look, he posted, quote, to be absolutely clear about my previous tweet, the point I'm making is that marijuana has been used against my people since some white people in the office, the DEA and the FBI, saw it was a way to entrap black jazz artists to shut down a movement happening in Harlem. That's the real reason why it started. You can research the history. It started from an evil plot, and now this plot is affecting our future. See, close quote. That's that bullish right there. Diddy, I hear what you're talking about, bro. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, we be getting on Diddy, but, you know, I feel what he's saying, man. Because I heard the same thing, quite frankly. 
YouTube personality turner, uh, turned boxer Logan, what's his name? I forgot his name. Tried to come for the culture's treasure, tr the culture's treasure, little baby. Why the man won't stay in his own lane? I'm still trying to figure out. Yo, take a listen to what what's his name had to say. Something like, bro, I'm gonna say it right now. <clears throat> It'll change. Little baby, he'll pop up on my Spotify. Mm -hmm. He just dropped a new album. Yeah, that's why I think. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm scrolling through and I can't, I can't can get away from little baby songs. Here's, here's and, the deal. And I, yo, I'm all for the new artists, but like this one in particular, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> I have none. And, and, and his, it all sounds the same. His tone is the same. It's all the same. I give him a year. Is that thunder? Hey, yo. See, yeah, exactly. Thunder would roar after that man says something like that because the heavens ain't feeling it. You see what I'm saying? Lil Baby simply replied by saying, <laughs> Logan who? Right? More like give him a year to have 100 M's. Now, indeed, look, cl close quote. Indeed, money ain't everything, right? But money highlights the monetary value that society places on the man's skills. Logan, who? Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Stay in your lane, bro. Okay? Don't come for little baby, man. It's like dude build a dog house successfully and it's like, oh, pass me a hammer. I'm about to build a house. Stay in your lane, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Don't come for little baby, man. You follow me? Um, because that's going to get me mad. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. And finally. Uh, 50 is unstoppable. Yes, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out if that was him in the boxing ring. But when it comes to business, fifth is like a tank. The big dog is officially doing a hip hop American idol of sorts, which is genius. You see what I'm saying? Fifth stated, I hope my sweat don't pour into my La Croix. Fifth stated, quote, this is going to be so cool. Think hip hop's American idol on ABC, close quote. Now, the show is said to feature uh, celebrity contestants face, uh, facing off in rap battles after which the judges, an unknown panel of hip hop mentors, would will decide the victor. Tell me that ain't a hot idea, man. You see what I'm saying? I'm hoping I can hear some ill, like some some crazy lyricality, man. I'm I'm hoping folks take it back. I'm waiting for the pendulum to swing back to uh, what hip hop was in the '90s. Although I'm not gonna front the sing songy. Um, I think the style of folks kind of singing in rap, in a sense, kind of was a like uh, 50 Cent Ja Rule. I think more or less ushered it in. You see what I'm saying? If I if I remember correctly. You see what I'm saying? And now you have a lot of other artists doing that right now. Lil Baby um, and Drake, they do that too. And them cats is at the top of their game with it. You see what I'm saying? Um, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Am I wrong? Because I know somebody's going to come out like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Such and such started singing first. Uh, Warren G or something like that. You see what I'm saying? Which he did. Um, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe, yo. Thanks to all of y'all that support us, man, with, with your view. Thank you for supporting us with your comments, man. Keeping the comment section lit. We definitely appreciate that, man. And yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for Celeb News.